I hope we see lots and lots and lots of red clothes. Oh, me too. Fashion shows are always so exciting. All the beautiful clothes, the music. <gasps> it's starting! What kind of fashion show is this? I thought the clothes would be fancier. Well, me too. A child could put on a better fashion show than this. A child like me? Well, certainly you. With your sense of style, you could make much more beautiful clothes than these. Thanks, Grandma. Oh, Ooh, inspired. <laughs> so stylish. Thank you. I better get started. On what? You'll see. Okay, William, Daddy will get the ball back for you. <coughs> Here you go, pal. Huh? Crew, this is Captain Ian speaking. We've landed safely on a faraway planet, but we must be on the lookout for alien life. Why'd you get so dressed up? It's just grilled cheese. A fashion designer has to look perfect. Always. My baseball socks. Did the aliens give them to you? Like my newspaper design? I think it's very fashionable. And the hat is very informative. Look, it's going to rain tomorrow. That's stunning, Olivia. How do you think a glamorous designer would take her place at, say, a dinner table? Your attention, please. I would like to announce the showing of my first fashion collection this Thursday at 5.45 sharp. All are welcome. I don't want to be in your fashion show. What makes you think I'm looking for models? Because you announced your fashion show to the whole class today. So will you do it? No. Too bad. They're making you this outfit. It's what all the rock stars are wearing. They are? They will, when they see this. I won't. I'm sorry. It's not the outfit. It's all those people who will be watching. But how are you going to be a rock star if you don't want people watching? I'll just hide behind my guitar. <laughs> Here, so no one will know it's you. Okay, maybe. Perfect! See you later! I said maybe! One more level, and I'll be ruler of the galaxy. Stop moving, Ian. I'm trying to glue your sleeves. I can't work like this. Me neither. There. Whoa. I did it. I did it, too. Yeah! I 
wonder if all fashion designers go through this. Francine, this is one of my favorite outfits. I knew I'd get the best outfit in the fashion show. Close your eyes. Okay, open them. I'm supposed to wear that? I call it the Francine dress. Don't you just love it? No. What? Why not? Well, first of all, it's got vegetables on it. They're pretend vegetables. Very in fashion this year. And I thought it would be pink. That radish is sort of pink. And it needs ruffles. Ta-da! Ruffles. I could work with this. <laughs> this is the first fashion show I've ever attended. Really? But they're so much fun. The clothes, the drama, the music. Welcome to Olivia's Fashion Show. Dad? Where's my Francine dress? Where are the green ruffles? Oh, the green ruffles were great. But purple is my new favorite color, and I couldn't decide whether to wear my purple sweater or my purple skirt. So I wear both. Hmm. Hold on a second. Hmm. Still too much purple. Here, hold this. Perfect. Now go. My guitar. I can't go out there without my guitar. But you look great. I don't care. I can't look at the audience. Wait, what if you didn't have to look at the audience? Thank you, thank you. Oh, thank you. I'll be here all night. Psst. Is that Julian? I'm not sure. Take me to your leader. <gasps> Ian, why are you wearing that? Well, you could wear your space helmet, or you could wear the helmet I designed. It's invisible. Awesome! I didn't know Ian could dance. Bravo! 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 <laughs> Olivia, I am so proud of you. That was some fashion show you put on. Thanks, Dad. Would you ever wear one of my designs? Absolutely. Good because I made something especially for you. Oh. It's very informative. Thank you, Olivia. I love it. I'll wear it head to toe and read it front to back. Good night, Olivia. Good night, Dad. children. We have a new girl joining our class today. Can the new girl sit next to me? I can show the new girl her cubby. I'll be her desk partner when we do art. Actually, Olivia, that would be very nice because you two have a lot in common. As a matter of fact, 
there's something about you that is absolutely identical. Olivia? Meet Olivia! Hi. What? Her name is Olivia? But my name is Olivia. You're both named Olivia. All right, Olivia. Go and have a seat next to Olivia. Now, it's time for math. Who knows what four plus two is? Yes, Olivia? M me? She was looking at me. But she pointed to me. Okay, okay. From now on, to avoid confusion, Olivia will be Olivia 1, and our new Olivia will be Olivia 2. This here town just isn't big enough for two Olivias. Yeah? What are you gonna do about it? We're gonna have a duel. We stand back to back, take ten paces, turn, and the duel begins. Whoever loses, clears out of town. Anytime. How can there be anyone else named Olivia? Olivia is a very popular name. It isn't fair. Her parents didn't ask if they could use my name. Oh, sweetie, it's a good thing. It means a lot of people like the name. A few years ago, the name Olivia was the fifth most popular girl's name. Now it's the third most popular. Every year, more and more people are naming their babies Olivia. <laughs> Maybe one day everybody will be named Olivia. Everybody? Would you please pass the salt, Olivia? This is a really good dinner, Olivia. Thank you, Olivia. How was work today, Olivia? Great, Olivia. How was your day? Package for Olivia. That's, That's me. me. Rule of life number 28. I know this is hard to believe, but more of something isn't always better. Look at how many people are called dad. I don't mind that, do I? Your turn, Olivia! Thanks, Daisy. Oh, sorry. I meant this Olivia. Olivia, too. Whee! I'm having a play date with Olivia today. Olivia, too. Hmm. All of you made such wonderful drawings. Hey, you got mine by mistake. Here, I like yours better. Let's trade. But I like my drawing better. Don't be mean to Olivia, Olivia. Hmm. Mom. I decided something important. Mm-hmm. I'm changing my name to Pam. Why would you do that? Because I don't know any other Pams. I'd be the only one. Well, if you want to call yourself Pam, you can. Okay. Pam it is. And from now on, my name is Pam. With no number after it. Don't forget. Mrs. Hoggenmuller, I changed my name to Pam. My mom said it's okay. That's fine, Olivia. Pam. That's fine, Pam. Hey, Pam. Psst, Pam. Pam! What, Julian? Nothing. I just wanted to try it out. All right. Who knows how many days are in the week? Olivia? Seven. Monday? Tuesday? You get a gold star. Yes! Olivia, too, answered the question. But I had my hand up first. She called on Olivia. Your name is Pam. Hmm. I don't know if Pam is the right name for me. You don't want to be called Pam anymore? I just don't feel very Pamish. 
but I always feel Olivia-ish. Definitely. You're definitely Olivia-ish. I decided to be an Olivia again. I'm glad. All Olivias are special, but you're an especially special Olivia to me. Catch is pretty good, too. Let's call it a tie. From now on, this is a two-Olivia town. So, how do you like our school, Olivia, too? It's pretty good. I'm glad you like it. Hey, uh, Olivia won. I'll give you your painting back if you want it. Thanks. You know what? I was thinking, maybe we should make an Olivia club. That sounds great! Let's have a play date after school so we can get started. Only Olivia's allowed. So, what should we do first? Let's talk about why we love the name Olivia. Well, I like that it starts with an O because not that many names do. And it's not short like Pam. So when someone says Olivia, you have more time to hear them. And it isn't a boy's name. So, what should we do now? Hi, what are you doing? Can I come in? No, Ian. This is a club for Olivia's. So unless your name is Olivia, you can't come in. Okay. I know. Do you want to sing a song? I don't like singing. You don't like singing? Hi, can I play? No friends scenes allowed. Only Olivia's. Okay. Wanna play hide and go seek? <sighs> Not really. Wanna play checkers? Nah. A club with just Olivia's isn't very fun after all. <laughs> We're ready to play now. Tag, you're it, Olivia. <laughs> Tag, you're it, Olivia. <laughs> hey! Tag, you're it, Olivia. Time to go to bed. Mwah. Why do you think a bed is called a bed? Well, it's just a word someone made up. Like, Olivia is a word meaning me, and Dad is a word meaning you? Yes. So, I guess names aren't that important, right, Dad? That's right. Good night, sweetie. A bick. A bick? That's a word I made up. That means you really should read me a book. <laughs> Good night, Olivia. Good night, Dad. Please try to stay clean, well, at least until you get to Daddy's office. Too bad it wasn't bring an alien to work day. That would be cool. Ian, then Daddy wouldn't be able to bring us. Speak for yourself, Earth girl. <laughs> Perry, no chew toys at the table. That's okay. He probably thinks I need a toy phone at the office. 
Oh, speaking of which, we should be off. Goodbye, darling. Mwah. Goodbye, darling. Goodbye, darling. <laughs> Goodbye. Have a good day at work. <laughs> Hello? I can't hear you. I'm on the subway. On my way to work. Yes, I've got a really important job as an... Uh... Dad, <laughs> what is your job called again? I'm an architect, sweetie. Oh, yeah. I've got a job as an architect. You know, designing houses and buildings and stuff. Ian, there's a frog in your... Shh! I know. His name is Cedric. Why are you bringing him to Dad's work? I was afraid Mom would find him. You know she doesn't like frogs. Okay, kids, this is our stop. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Sam. What do we have here? This is my daughter Olivia and my son Ian. Pleased to meet you. I like your badge. Well, this must be your lucky day. I happen to have one especially for you. What do you say? I love that it matches my outfit. Uh, yeah, besides that. Thank you, Mr. Security Guard. <gasps> uh, what was that? Uh... Ian's funny way of saying thank you. Hmm. You might have a future as a ventriloquist, Ian. I get to push the elevator buttons. Three, two, one... Blast off! Uh... I think we've gone past Dad's office. Ian, I know how to get to Dad's office. We're taking a shortcut. Everybody hang on. Roger that. <laughs> Next stop, Dad's office. Okay, kids, that's enough with the buttons. It will take us all day to get up to the office at this rate. Yay! We're at the office, finally! This way, guys. <laughs> see our house from up here. Well, is our most talented architect here? Oh, hello, Mr. Beeswax. I'd like you to meet my children, Olivia and Ian. Kids, this is Mr. Beeswax. Hello, Mr. Beeswax. Oh, um. It's bring your child to work day. Oh, that explains all of the children in the copy room. Ian wanted it to be bring an alien to work day. But I talked him out of it. And I'm glad you did. And now, is your model for the new aquarium ready? I need to show it to the board of directors this afternoon. This afternoon? But I thought I had much more time to finish it. So did I. You have until 3 o'clock. I know you can do it. Oh, that's not very much time. Can we help? Hmm. Hmm. What I need you to do is take these files and empty the paper inside into this recycling bin. Then put the empty file folder in this box. That's it? But what about your model? We can help with that. Hey, uh, thank you, honey, but I have to do that one on my own. <laughs> hey, you're getting pretty good at that trick, Ian. Okay, I'll be back to check on you in a little while. This is kind of fun. Not as much fun as building a model of an aquarium. Rule of life number 41. What's the point of bringing kids to work if they can't help? Cedric says he'll help too. Hmm. Ian, tell Cedric the cement is supposed to go over there. Come back, Cedric!
Cedric? Don't worry. He'll be okay. Besides, you heard Mr. Beeswax. We have to have this model done by 3 o'clock. But what if Cedric decides to hop home? He won't get very far. He can't even reach the elevator buttons. Let's go get more stuff for our model. Hi, I'm Olivia, and this is my brother Ian. Want to come help us build a model? Sure. You haven't seen a frog, have you? Supplies! Let's get started on the aquarium model. Hi, wanna help? Okay. supposed to put that beam over there. But I just finished sticking this one on. But that's where the humongous fish tank is going to go. What's gonna go in there? A frog. A frog? I don't like frogs. Don't worry, we have to catch it first. But it's going to be huge. People from all over will want to come to our aquarium to see it. Get it away from me! Oh, I think someone found Cedric. We'd better go get him. Let's bring the aquarium. Get it away from me! Don't worry. Cedric couldn't hurt a fly. Well, maybe a fly, but not someone as big as you. What's going <gasps> on out here? Sorry about that, Mr. Beeswax, but my brother lost his frog. Well, he found a frog first, then he lost it again. He in the office. His name is Cedric. We would have looked for him, but we were too busy making a model for the aquarium. Here you go, Cedric. Uh, sorry about this, Mr. Beeswax. I was distracted with the aquarium project. Did you make this model, Olivia? Yes. With help from my construction workers. There are some very interesting ideas here. Oh, you've got a very talented young architect on your hands. Now, who wants pizza? Yeah! Hmm. Is that your model, Dad? Yes, it is. I'm worried it's not as interesting as yours, although I did borrow one of your ideas. Well, it's hard to beat a masterpiece. Wouldn't you say? Just let me know if you need us to make any more models. <laughs> and on that day, the king invited every person in the kingdom to join in the celebration. Did an architect design that castle? Well, yes. Did an architect design our house? Yes. I think I want to be an architect when I grow up so that I can design a house for you and Dad. But we like this house. Yeah, but someday you may need more room for all the frogs Ian likes to bring home. Did your brother bring home another frog? Uh, yes, but he named him after Grandpa. <sighs> I better have a talk with your brother. Good night, sweetie. Good night, Mom. <sighs> Good night, Cedric. <laughs> 